What's up guys and welcome to another installment of yeah. What was that? <laughs> I whispered. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, let's start off with a question left by Advo. That's right. If you were forced to make love to a Primark, which Primark would it be? Pre-heresy or post-heresy? <laughs> <sighs> this is tough. It'd be between Sanguinius and Gulliman. Because they're like the pretty boys. So I guess it'd be the closest to a girl. Uh, I would I would choose Mortarion. Who's Mortarion? The Death Guard. She could be on Nerdly. No, that's <laughs> disgusting. That's like STDs. And then uh, no. Oh, you know what? Angron Demon Form. That way he kills me and we don't make love. But he can grab your soul and have fun with that. I mean, if I'm going up against a, a Primark, I'm pretty much messed up anyway. Next question. Rodney Stilwell. Ugh. Who won the betrayal at Cal? Kill me. Um, you know now. Yeah, just watch, watch the video. Yeah. <laughs> Noah Campbell. Would you rather be in the Golden Throne for a thousand years, assuming you would survive, or be captured by the extremely randy group of Dark Eldar? They're Dark Eldar women. <laughs> um... I don't know though. Pain in the bedroom is a no-go for me. So I think I would um, I would choose the Golden Throne. I I take my chances with the Eldar because potentially I can escape. Yeah. Potentially. 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 But if you were in the Golden Throne, you could be everywhere. And but you'd slowly be dying though. Yeah. Like it's still keeping you alive, but you know you'd be decomposing. I mean, he is a skeleton. Yeah, but so. the emperor protects, so that means that I would protect. I don't know what I'd protect from. <laughs> STDs. <laughs> I just, I just don't want like getting hit. John ID. Oh, I will admit that question was put together poorly. But there's another, or here's another. Do you guys play un? N Do you guys play other video games outside of Warhammer Universe? Yeah, just like everybody else. What games do you play? Uh, right now it's just Naruto, Call of Duty, and uh, Dark Souls. Nice. I don't, I don't play video games. But when you did, you played that FIFA. I played FIFA. The last FIFA I had was 2008, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a while. Yeah. Um, and then Skyrim, I played Skyrim for a while. For a Mass while. Effect. Mass Effect, I played. I played Spore. <laughs> Next question. Destroyer. I have a question for you about the nature of being tainted by chaos. I understand that chaotic weaponry, knowledge, and artifacts can turn one to chaos. But what about working with the secrets of Xenos, especially those without much connection to the warp, like Tower Necrons? Why would working in their secrets, like dealing with their technology, cause someone to become tainted by the powers of the warp? Um, so let's answer that first. Uh, it's not necessarily that they would become tainted by the warps, it's just that the Inquisition in their close-minded manner is just putting that out there as a way to just shun all other um, ideologies, I guess. Right? Yeah. yeah. So um, it's not necessarily that you get corrupted by chaos, it's just that working with Necron tech might revive a dynasty. It might um, turn you away from the Emperor, it might, it might create, create an artificial intelligent, intelligence, which is what brought humanity and the Imperium to the Dark Ages, they were called, right? Mm -hmm. Or the Age of Strife. So basically saying the Inquisition is xenophobic and they are all for the Emperor. Yeah. And then he has a second part to his question. Also, who has custody of the gene vaults on Terra from which the Raven Guard have to get their gene seed from? That's actually a good question. Uh, I have to do a little bit of research, but I would guess it's the, um, what are they called? The High Lords? No, not the High Lords. It's some Ordo. I forget what the, the, the name is, but I'll research it for you and then I'll just comment it. Uh, Rodney Stilwell. Hey, piss on the guy who said you were, you was mispronouncing the words. No one can pronounce every 40k word right. You guys are great. Thank you so much for defending us. You are awesome. And yes, you're right. 
Matt Castro, which race do you think would be exterminated first? The orcs. Why? <laughs> no. There's too numerous. Yeah, they're 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 probably, they're probably gonna be one of the harder ones to kill due to their spores and whatnot. I think Eldar would be exterminated first because they're already dying out. Yeah. That's that's my opinion. What no, I, I was gonna actually say the Eldar, yeah. but yeah. the orcs. <laughs> uh, the Dav Banks. When I said about the Grey Knights, I was talking about what you said to my question about the Celestial Lions. When in the Third War of Armageddon, at their camp, at their, at their camp, some of their bodies had long burn marks. Yes. I don't remember now what the previous question was about the previous question. So yes, yes, sorry. Now the question, do you think that the Fallen Angels are really evil? Or was Lion L. Johnson corrupted by chaos? I believe that he was, or they, they're not evil, do you? No, it's, I mean, he's not part of the chaos, he hasn't been corrupted, but um, there's something going on there. And you'll find out in the 40 facts of that, of the Dark Angels. Isk of Plays would read a book about the Big E before he revealed himself? Yes. What? <laughs> I, I don't know what he said. Next question, Renz29. Will you make a video about the second founding, please? Of course, my friend. Slice of pie. <laughs> oh. Greetings, you of Gershi Girth and Grand Mixer of the Auditory. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was good, I like that. Gershi Girth. Grand Mixer. Okay, after reading most of the 30k books and assuming the Emperor is as powerful as the scribe, I think that it is fairly obviously that he purposely caused at least 90% of the heresy. Why? P.S. More that willing to prove proof. Oh, more than willing to provide proof if asked, but it's long. Do it. Yeah. Put it in the comments. I want to read. Uh, Zach Teskey, Teskey, Tesvaksky. I don't know. What models in GW line do you reckon needs more redone? I'm, I'm a bad reader. <laughs> I personally want them to redo the Eldar Aspect Warrior kits, Avatar, and a few others, other which are fairly out of date compared to the rest. So what do we about uh, you first? Basically everything that is Sisters of Battle. Because mm -hmm. as far as I know, they got some stuff that is still metal. So. Yeah, redo that. I want a um, War Buggy, because the War Buggy we have is pretty crappy for the Orcs. Um, is that the one where the orcs driving like, it? Are like this little, <laughs> not like this little. They're like uh, Gretchen-sized orcs. Yeah, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the Gugai Gaiwa Scanador. Do you guys know or watch the Vaults of Terra? Yes. Yep. Owen, is that gray hair I see? Anyone yes. else see that shit or is it just me? Is <laughs> that shit he said? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have, I have like three gray hair somewhere here. I got a blonde hair back here, and then red is predominantly right here. I'm, I'm, what is it called? Gallico colored? <laughs> like a guinea pig? Yeah, like a guinea pig. <laughs> Gersh the guinea pig. All right. Guinea Gersh. <laughs> Adiros times. The Tyranids don't only eat plants <laughs> and stuff. Planets, I'm guessing. Wait, okay, let me read it in, the entire, in, in its entirety. The Tyranids don't only eat plants and stuff, like they also eat the metal of the planet. Necrons are a m meal target for them too. You know, uh, I was actually reading an article that talked about a uh, fungus or a bacteria, and it was a bacteria that could eat plastic. And we're gonna use that as an eco-friendly way of decomposing certain plastics. So if there is a biological Substance. Whatever, substance that can consume plastic, I'm pretty sure you could find something that consumes, what is it, necrotier? Ne yeah, necron tier, something like that. Yeah, the, the metal that they use, because it's a special type of metal, but then at the same time, uh, the lore can twist the other way and say, like, no, nec necrotier has, has no biological advantage to being consumed. As far as I know, isn't it like living metal? Yeah. So they call it something like that. So it might even be radioactive to the point where not even a tyranid can uh, consume it. So, uh, but I mean, it, it could go either way. Mm -hmm. Vladimir Real says, Hi. Hi. <laughs> Matt Castro, first. Respite Dennis. 
Is there any squid creature in the 40k world that resembles a new Maul Crusher from Sigmar? I want to play a giant converted dragon beast against my little guardsmen. Uh, well, the cool thing is, like, you could say it's a squid goth or whatever, and you could use the rules for the squid goths, but in reality, um, squigs just are, they're not a fixed, like, they're not fixed to a certain way of looking. There's a variety of squigs, so you could very well say that that creature is a squig, but it's a dragon squig uh, bred by the runt herders a certain way. And you could actually use the rules of the um, of the war bike because you could say the speed of that squig is so fast that it actually um, mimics that of a war bike um, because maybe on the planet where it was bred the weight was so heavy or the the planet itself had so much mass that gravity was tougher so when you take it to other planets that squig it's just 10 times faster, so it might, it might actually jump or whatever. So if you throw in some lore behind it, there's there's an easy way for you to include that into your army. Yep. Yes. True. My turn, right? Yeah. Dragon Punch 903. Which, in your opinion, is the best unit in the game? For example, Wraith Knights, Riptide, etc. You first. Now, I don't know if they're the best, but... They're pretty nasty. Probably gonna say the same thing. The rates from the Necrons. Yep, me too. Yeah, they they destroyed a lot of my guys. I just don't like them. Yeah, they're fast. They don't have guns, but I mean, when, they, you're, in, when you're in close combat, you don't need them. And they're yeah, they're fast, like you said. Mm -hmm. So yeah, same same thing. Yolo swag. Which do you prefer, Giant Squigoth or Stampo? Also, which out of Gorkonaut or Morkonaut? Uh, I don't use a Gorgonaut or Morganaut, um, but I think I would go with the Morganaut, which I think Morganaut is the one with the custom force field. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then a giant squig to a Stampa. I like how the giant squig uh, looks compared to the Stampa, but in terms of gameplay, I'm pretty sure the Stampa is better. And then uh, Adam Fusari? Yep. Greater Demon of the Cat God, insert name here as I can't think of one. Oh, that's that, um, that's that Demon Cat, it's, uh, we're, we're gonna name him Greater Demon of the Cat God, Ruthifer. That's a good demon name, Ruthifer. Mm -hmm. Alright, and finishing it off with Tattoo for You. Yep. <laughs> You've been saying it wrong this whole time. Yeah. Got me thinking, the Tyranids are like the ultra ultimate race. They adapt, like you said, to their foes. Now everyone says that they won't eat the Necron because there's they're not organic, but don't but don't the but don't the ah, the my even devour all the inorganic material on the planet as well. Um, so yeah, to answer that it's kinda of like the same thing we were talking about earlier. Alright, so I read this and then the camera stopped, so we're just gonna, I'm not gonna read it again. But to answer your question, because he wants to know if this would lead to a biomech tyranid, uh, no, because when they eat things, they don't necessarily, they, they break it down to their components, and then those components are used to create whatever. To, to breed out more advanced tyranids. And odds are it's made out of some sort of car carbon, because metal is made out of some sort of carbon, right? Um, so in that way, I don't think the Tyranid would use that to build the same thing that it decomposed, if that makes any sense. Can like, if you eat, um, fat, you don't turn it into fat, you turn it into energy. And that energy gets turned into whatever you need it. Uh, it doesn't turn into fat. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So that's like saying, if you eat a, if you eat a Necron, you don't become a Necron. Right, you use those components to build, to build more Tyranids. That are good against that type of... Yeah, they might be tougher with tougher armor, but they're not gonna be mechanical. Mm -hmm. Or they might build some acid that can dissolve living metal. Right, right. Thank you guys so much for the questions. Please comment down below. We'll answer them next week. And yeah, that's all we got. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, he is... Gershwan. I am the Sound Alchemist, and we are out of here. Oh,